Well, it's always great to be here. It's a bright, sunny morning and there's plenty to play for. England are touring after two years. They've won a series against uh, Sri Lanka. Pakistan have been winless in the last 10 test matches that they've played. So they will be looking to change their fortunes for sure. I've got with me my lovely guests, Mr. David Gower and Mr. Amir Suhail. David, a very warm welcome to you. It's always great to have you back in Pakistan and uh, with these lovely conditions that we have here. Um, Obviously, plenty to look forward to in this series. A different looking England side that toured in that 2022 tour. Yeah, well, first of all, thank you very much indeed for having me back. Always a pleasure to be here. Uh, England, yes, they had uh, a triumph last time, two years ago. And that stat that always amazes me is that that was three test matches out of the only five they've won in history in Pakistan, which just proves that coming here historically is not easy. Um, there are changes largely to the bowling attack. So there are new faces like the fellow Gus Atkinson who had a fantastic summer against the West Indies and Sri Lanka. So he'll be looking to prove himself overseas for the first time. Uh, if you look back a couple of years, no Anderson, no Robinson. You know, they contributed, for instance, to that first test match win in Pindi last time. Uh, Anderson will be here eventually. He's playing golf at the moment. We know that. That's one of those little things, little quirks about modern cricket. Uh, but he'll be here to assist the bowlers with all that experience and advice that he can offer. But for everyone starting here today, a new challenge in a new place. A new challenge for Pakistan as well, Ahmed. They lost their series against Bangladesh. And, you know, like we mentioned, they'd be looking to get that win because they haven't really won in the last few years if you look at this particular format. So how do they change their fortunes for themselves? I mean, what do they need to do differently? I think the captain has to understand the ability of the players and the capability. And if he, if he really decides for that, then he'll be in a better position to bring more out of the players. At the moment, uh, you know, as a captain, he looks wandering most of the times. All right. So obviously, leadership is something which is going to be challenged. Ben Stokes is not playing. Oli Pop comes in. So a challenge for him as well. Yeah, Oli's captain through the summer. Um, so it's not brand new for him and he's got wins under his belt as well. So one of the great things we always say about this game of cricket, be it as a player or as a captain, is the confidence of knowing that first of all you can do it and secondly that you have done it. So he's got wins under his belt. Um, he'll command not quite the same respect as Ben Stokes because Ben is just absolutely extraordinary as a man, as a leader. And Oli will have one or two things on his mind as well, just to get his own performances up there, because he struggled through a lot of the summer, got runs at the end, and everyone was very happy for him with that. But it's, you know, it's there to be done. He'll lead with, with a smile on his face. All right, so we are very much ready with the toss, all important toss. Ramiz Raja is out there with the two captains, so let's see what happens there on the pitch. Yes, everything set up very nicely here for this first test match here in Multan, England versus Pakistan. Sir Richie Richardson is the match referee. Then we've got the new England captain, Oli Pope. And then Shan Masood has got a smile on your face. Keep that smile on, boss. You need it. Let's go. Tails. Tails is the call. Heads it is. Heads it is. Shan, what have you decided to do? Uh, we're going to have a bat first. Right. I mean... How do you sum up the conditions, though? There's a little bit of green tinge. Yeah, um, look, we asked for a good cricket wicket. Um, like you see with both 11s, I think yeah. um, everyone's stacked with the batting department. Mm. We've got two spinners in the, in the spin department and three fast bowlers. So we line up in the same way, and, and what we want to see is good cricket from all departments. And a good start for you and for the team as well, because the last... Ten months have really not been kind to Pakistan. Yeah, look, I mean, uh, we've been in winning positions and uh, we've not won from there. Um, and that has created some hurt within the camp and obviously within the uh, Pakistan cricketing fraternity. But we want to change things. Mm -hmm. We want to get back on track and, and we're, um, we're looking to do so with this group of players. Best of luck. Thank you. All the best. Come on. Come on. Right, congrats. I mean, it's not easy without your regular captain, but here's an opportunity for you as well to lead and lead them well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, came prepared, obviously did the series against um, Sri Lanka just now and came prepared to captain just in case Stokes wasn't quite ready, but mm -hmm. now nah, looking forward to the challenge. Yeah. I mean, massive uh, change in conditions from uh, what, minus three to plus 35. I mean, how do you intend to cope with the conditions and what about the pitch? Yeah, I think the conditions is obviously hot, probably the hottest I've played in, but now nah, looking forward to it. I think we've trained really well to, to prep us for this game, so ready for that challenge of the heat too. Uh, and the, well, I, look, we would have had a bat first. I think mm. there's a little bit of moisture in the pitch, so hopefully we can make the most of that early. 
I think the real or the other real challenge will be how you nurse this young fast bowling attack. Uh, Braden Cass is making his debut. What do you make of him? He's supposed to be kind of a combative character. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see him go in, uh, in test cricket. He's obviously played a bit of white ball stuff for England now. Uh, he's got that extra bit of pace, so he's an exciting guy to watch. All right. Best of luck. Cheers. Thank you. Right. The news from the centre out here is that Pakistan have won the toss and elected to bat. Well, the grass was shaved off just two days ago, Amir, and there was a lot of talk around how this pitch is going to be behaving. Not seen a lot of it uh, overall, but I mean, what do you make of these conditions? And according to the conditions, do you think Shan opted for the uh, right decision? I think there is a tinge of grass, and to be able to make such a decision, positive decision, I think that's a good beginning. You know, this pitch looks uh, slightly on the drier side, and I think with the cracks opening up, it's going to crumble, that's for sure. And batting last year is going to be not easy, so I think it's a positive decision made by the captain, but the, the players, the batters, they really, they really need to bat well here. All right. Are we going to see a bit of bass ball then uh, first up or are we going oh, to see a no, different no, no, approach? Because no, no. it didn't work in that last test match that England played against Sri Lanka. No, the bass ball thing um, has been refined slightly. I mean, five out of six test matches won last summer is still a good result for England. Uh, whatever you say about the opposition. Um, and Sri Lanka in that last test match proved they were worthy. Um, but today, of course, is about the bowlers. This is about the bowlers today playing in Pakistan for the first time, most of them apart from Jack Leach. So playing in Pakistan for the first time, with the heat, with the conditions, um, and that'll be a learning curve for them, seeing what the ball does or doesn't do for them. All right, we'll have a closer look at the pitch as well. On the other side, I'll take a short breather, be back just in a bit. Back on pitch side, and we've got a beautiful day here in Multan, and uh, plenty to look forward to in this contest. It's a hot day, no chances of rain whatsoever, so we can expect some uh, cricket throughout these five days. Now, Pakistan has won the toss, and they did decide to bat first, in case you guys have just tuned in. Let's have a quick look at the teams. The Pakistan team first, the lineup was uh, already announced a couple of days ago. Amir, uh, Shaheen Shah Afridi comes back. He was dropped in that last test match against Bangladesh. Overall, what do you make of this uh, lineup? I think it, when you look at the sides and the names, it, it does give you the feeling that this team has the wherewithal to compete well in a test match. But of late, we haven't seen that. But Amir Jamal's inclusion and Ibrahim's inclusion, for me, lends that balance to the side and the captain to be able to use the resources in a, in a proper manner to be able to pick up 20 wickets. Uh, David, obviously with Anderson and Stuart Broad gone, you see a couple of uh, inexperienced guys in this lineup. Overall, uh, what do you make of this, uh, this England team? Well, first of all, batting looks strong. Crawley is back after his finger broken and he's going to open the innings with Duckett. So that top order looks very solid with Harry Brook, of course, here made a thousand runs. Well, almost, high, almost 500 runs last time in the three matches. So he'll be looking to coming back. Jamie Smith has just snuck into the side very easily, fitted in beautifully as both a very fine batsman and the wicket keeper. Then the bowling, that's the interesting part for this England team. Wokes is very classy but has done so little overseas historically. Atkinson, Cast making his debut in test matches here today. Um, I mean, they are untested overseas. Uh, Leach and Bashir, I mean, I love Shoaib Bashir. He came into the series against India earlier in the year, bowled beautifully. Uh, he's learning, of course, he's very, very young, so he's learning each and every day. Jack Leach there as stability, but those two spinners will be important, I'm sure. Well, great opportunity for someone like Bryden Cast. He received his cap today as well. It's always a fantastic moment when you're playing your first test match. Absolutely. I mean, it's something you never forget. It's something which, of course, gets the heart fluttering um, wherever you are. We'll be you at home, back in the UK. I say at home, he comes from uh, South Africa originally. Um, that's his parentage. When you come to Pakistan like this, first test, first test of any series is exciting. And you're bowling first, so you actually get into it straight away. That's one thing maybe in your favour. You get into it straight away, albeit on a fresh pitch. Well, there were a lot of uh, questions and general speculation around this pitch, how it's going to fare, whether it's going to help the spinners or the, or the fast bowlers. Let's find out from Bazid Khan what he thinks in the pitch and weather report. The last test match played here at Multan was Pakistan versus England. Abrar Ahmed got 11 for. So, tells you that spin does do well. But it's a different look to the pitch this time around. You've got a lot of grass, plenty of grass. Normally don't associate grass with Multan, but there's a lot of covering through the pitch, throughout the 22 yards. Um, but if you have a closer look, it's still pretty dry. It's not as if there's moisture left. 
the pitch looks as if underneath it is still quite dry. So that means that the grass is there to help the pitch remain solid, remain intact for the five days. Also, just to let the ball carry through a little bit, there might be a little bit of seam swing up front, but I reckon that spinners will still have to play a big role, big part as it is all the time in Multan when you play the longer format. Well, we'll have to wait and see how it fares. A bit of moisture, like Bazit Khan said, early on, and then it might uh, help the spinners later on as well. We'll take a short breather. We'll be back just in a bit. Well, back on pitch side, and uh, Pakistan has won the toss, and they have decided to bat first. This is an all-important series because, remember, the World Test Championship points also are in the mix of everything. This uh, cycle runs up till uh, May 2025, and uh, Pakistan and England both will be looking to get some points under their belt. This is what England's fixtures uh, are looking like. They play New Zealand in uh, November, December 24, but they've uh, managed to win two series against West Indies, Sri Lanka. And then uh, the Australia one was drawn along with India, to which they lost, which was the series that was played in India 4 1. All right, with Pakistan, they have uh, South Africa coming up that they will be playing uh, in December, January. And uh, then, of course, they've lost uh, the series against Bangladesh, against Australia, and they won that series against uh, Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka. Well, these are the standings, what they look like. Pakistan, again, this is what they need to do. They need to be winning uh, this series to be going up this ladder. They are placed right above West Indies, England at that number four spot. All right, important series for Shan Masood as a captain as well. Ahmed, he needs to get some runs under his belt and really lead from the front. Yes, he, uh, you know, in the last series, uh, he attracted a lot of criticism. And, uh, you know, you could say it was vituperative sort of a criticism he attracted. Uh, he is a big opportunity for him to uh, redeem himself. And the reason why I say that, he, he plays in county championships. And he should know the abilities of the opposition and how to use the abilities of his own team to be able to get positive result in the series. All right, there you heard it from Amir Sohail as well, that Shan Masood needs those runs. He's got that county championship experience. And Pakistan needs runs at the top order as well. Abdullah Shafiq also not having the best of series against Bangladesh. So, there's plenty to prove uh, for these uh, Pakistan guys in the, in, the, in the lineup, as well as England. A lot of inexperience there. Overall, it's going to be a fantastic contest. Plenty to look forward to in Pakistan versus England. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll be ready with all the live action. Don't go anywhere.